welcome to the Selectmen's meeting of May 31st, 2018. If you would like to rise and join me in saluting the flag. Aye. The United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Here we a motion to entertain and approve the payroll warrant for 523.18 for $173,000, $250,000. Four hundred and seventy-seven cents, and approve an expense warrant for five twenty-nine eighteen for one hundred seventy thousand eight hundred and fourteen dollars and twenty-two cents. You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We have announcements. The fire battalion will hold its annual Father's Day chicken barbecue on Sunday, June seventeenth. Tickets are available from the department members or by calling the station at 508-867-7306. For a $15 donation, you get a barbecue half chicken, salad, dinner roll, baked potato, and an individual pot. Serving from noon to 1.30. All meals are packed to go, but there will be limited seating at the station. Tyler Rowland, district aide to Senator Ann Goby, will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 2 to 3 p.m. Tuesday, June 26th, and all are welcome. Our first thing on our agenda this evening is to sign municipal transfers. We have a municipal transfer here from the plumbing inspector. Its amount of transfer is $241.97, and it's from to, and it will go to the funding inspector's expense account. And it was suggested that it would be transferred from the reserve fund. Right. Can we right. move to Karen to... No, she said we can do the... Okay. All right, so you have a motion. A motion to sign this Okay. All, all in favor? And this is from the town accountant, and um, the amount is $11,984.61. It's maturing debt from the sawmill pond, um, uh, $3,540.37. Maturing interest fire truck, $44.79. Maturing interest sawmill. Sawmill Pond is $1,734.51. Group insurance, uh, $5,513.03. And the general insurance of $1,151.91 for a total of $11,984.61. Excuse me, Linda, for the transfer accounts. Will we have to make similar motions? Uh, yeah, you'll have them, yeah. Yeah, you'll have, yeah, we'll get them on to you. Would you like us to do that as soon as you're done or what? Hmm? Yeah, probably, maybe uh, you have to open your meeting too. Okay. So probably after we finish this from the reserve fund to these yeah. individual yeah. accounts. Yes, that's what she wants. Another one from the um, town accountant will amount of $100, and it's 
and it's going to the zoning enforcement office enforcement expense and this is board of appeals wages that's what's coming out okay motion approved second all in favor aye, aye. all right $3,500 and it is going to the municipal heating fuel account and it's going to be transferred to municipal gasoline and I would like to have a motion. Yes, motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. So that, that one is probably not. Another one that we probably want to take a look at it and presume, presume we're going to need that ship for next year and go ahead and take care of it in the budget that goes before the town. I think it's pretty close though. I mean, we're dealing with several thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, it's not huge, but it'll just save us the paperwork for the next year. Let's see, what's almost the same? No, that's not the Okay. Now we have another one also from the town accountant. Uh, the amount of the transfer is $228.20. And um, it's going to be to the uh, Board of Appeals expense, and it's coming from the Board of Appeals wages. I'd like motion motion to Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and this is another one from the town accountant in the amount of two thousand two hundred and twenty dollars and sixty two cents. It says it's a a deficit and it's from the planning board expense it's, it's for the planning board expense and it's going to come from the planning board clerk cell motion to approve second second all in favor This is another one from the uh, account, the amount of $1,923, and it's going uh, to the assistant treasurer wages, and it's going to be from the South Pond Beach expense for $750, physical exam expense of $373, and payment in lieu of taxes for $800. I'd like a motion to sign this. Motion Second. All in favor? Now this is another one from the town accountant. The transfer is five hundred dollars. And in, in the amount, and will go into the town accounts 
expense, town accountant's expense, and it will come from the South Pond Beach expense. I'd like to have a motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Another one for also from the town accountant for two hundred for two hundred dollars, and it will go into the town website because it was minus one hundred and fifty four dollars and twenty two cents, and it will come from computer security. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor. Aye. from the town accountant. It's the amount of the transfer is $12,500. And then she's got here plus $1,800. So it's two of them. Oh, it's going to go into the, um, to the computer maintenance account and um, it will come from the computer acquisition account. So I would like a motion to approve this. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Are you passing them along to the advisory board or not? Give them to them as well. Okay. Yeah, we'll give them to all of this. Because then they can open their meeting. Mm. Oh. I'd like to open our joint meeting. This is the uh, <clears throat> advisory committee with the joint meeting with the uh, Board of Selectmen. And um, we'll follow the agenda that you've posted. Um, we'll uh, take care of these transfer requests. Uh, all these need to be done this evening, correct? Yes. Okay, very well. I'd like to go through the exact same process here. Uh, request fund transfer plumbing inspector two hundred forty one dollars and ninety seven cents and uh, request a motion please second excellent done aye all in favor all those in aye. favor <laughs> aye excellent beautiful uh, I'm going to send them around as a, as a group okay here's another motion by the accountant to transfer $11,984.61 from uh, reserve account to uh, various accounts on her uh, ledger. And um, motion to approve. That motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very well. Pass this round. Town account $100 uh, from the Board of Appeals wages account to the zoning enforcement expense $100. Do I hear a motion to approve? I made the motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. We'll get the rhythm down in a minute. <laughs> 
you guys started. Well, yeah. Right. Um, we have another account, accountant transfer request, um, $3,500 from the municipal gasoline account to the municipal heating fuel account. Do I hear a motion to approve? Mm -hmm. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. Aye. Board of Appeals, uh, this is from the accountant, uh, $2,000. $208.20 from the Board of Appeals wages to the Board of Appeals expenses. Motion to approve. I'll make that motion. Second. Aye. 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 Favor? <laughs> Excellent. <coughs> Town account transfer $2,220.62. From the uh, planning board clerk salary account to the planning board expense account. All in favor? Motion. Second. All in favor? Yay. Aye. Very good. Count another one. Um, $1,923. Uh, from the South Pond Beach expense, physical exam expense, and payment in lieu of taxes expense uh, to the assistant treasurer wages account. Uh, here in motion. Question, question on the uh, payment in lieu of taxes. Is that money was supposed to be paid to East Brookfield? That's what we do in lieu of taxes, right? The land we have in East Brookfield? I don't know. That's a question we have to ask the town pound. It was usually $750. South Pond expenses for $750. Physical exam expenses for $373. That's what sort of well the well, we payment of the taxes. I don't know. Are, are we responsible for paying these book when we haven't paid them yet? Good question. Don't know. Do you even call ah. back to the end in case we have questions? Oh, at the end? Do you want to wait to see if he has any we'll questions? We'll wait. Or you can hold off and make Yes, sir. I was going to say, why don't you put that aside for us? Okay, yeah. put it aside. We have a uh, town account expense uh, suggested transfer from the South Pond okay. Beach expense to the town account expense of $500. Do I hear a motion? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Bob. Uh, from uh, town account, transfer from computer security to town website account, $200. Do I hear a motion? I make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, Town account transfer one uh, twelve thousand five hundred dollars from the computer acquisition account to the computer maintenance account. Do I hear a motion? Seven. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, That's it, right? Yes. Yeah. Would you like me to call the town accountant and ask her a question on that now? If, uh, if, certainly, it's, uh, the question, Bob, mm -hmm. is. Sure she must I'd have like, I'd like to Bob, I am sure that she must have checked before that she did that, and it must have been paid. But I will write well, a note if it, you want. I'll check it on the Monday. Still there in the yes, but how old is that ledger? When was that printed? Five fifteen. When? Five fifteen. Five fifteen. Which which so account? We, <coughs> which account were you questioning? I have the five twenty three one. This is a new one. Huh? I have I have one from five twenty three. Which account was it? it was I didn't payment. hear which account you. It's the in payment in lieu of taxes to East Brookfield. Okay. That for the well. For the well.
students still there. Right. So these people don't think it's been paid. That's what my question. That's what the rule of tax is on the film. Our next one here on the agenda <clears throat> that we've opened the advisory board meeting now. And for one last time, <coughs> again, I'd like a motion to open the annual town meeting warrant. You have that motion. Second. Um, this is will be Article 10, is to see if the town will vote to set fiscal 2019 spending limits for the following revolving accounts authorized pursuant to Chapter 5 Financial Affairs Section 8 of the Town's General Bylaws. It's authorized revolving funds for fiscal year extended limits. Board of Health Inspector slash Professional Engineer cost $20,000 and Regional Highway Equipment Cooperative for $20,000. Motion to include. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now I would like a motion to close the annual town meeting. Do you have that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. And that'll, I hope that will be the last time that we have to think <laughs> it will be. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. All right. We'll start with our recommendation. Uh, we usually, we can just go through like Article 1 in, in the box. We are always just, just for your information, uh, we're about to enter discussion of the articles. Uh, mm -hmm. So advisory has reviewed them all. And you have in front of you uh, a summary of our uh, either you know, from left to right, the department, the article, the amount asked, and then our, whether we're funding or supporting it, whether we're suggesting Passover or, or asking or more information or any sort of an explanation to the right. And, uh, so as we go through them, we can review our positions if, if you so choose. There might be a few we've missed, for instance, Article 10. Article 10. Article 10. Second page that we were supplied mm -hmm. is a summary of, of, of uh, increases as of May 24th. Now, this is a reasonably incomplete document, um, but uh, Jeff, if you could take a swing at explaining it 
And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same document. I think we, I might have shown it to you, maybe, I'm not sure they actually gave it to you the last time we were together, but it basically this references the 18 departments that had increases year over year according to what we were giving. Again, those numbers, the 18 numbers might change, um, but the ones I had when they're listed here, police, uh, selecting all the, the uh, department members on the left-hand side, and as you can see, um, uh, again, I'm not, I'm not saying it's totally accurate, but more or less I believe we had uh, $300,000 more or less with headroom based on what we thought might be the anticipated levy versus the 18 budget, and we're, we're more or less right, right there based on these departmental increases. More or less within a few thousand, I think. Because I can't can't specifically say that the 18 numbers that I was given or what the true numbers are, but they're close. And as you can see, the biggest increases were school as, as traditional assessments and other mandated um, police because of the uh, elapsed contract. Those are the three largest ones, and the other ones are uh, you know, fairly small. And the ones that are not shown here are the ones that were uh, basically level funded. I think we had all of them, right, Steve? We have the yeah. Not, yeah. I, I, I see a few things that are missing or, or inaccurate. Mm -hmm. And um, this is not a document I dwell on here tonight. You know, I, we're, we're here mainly to move to our articles, and mm -hmm. that's, that's where I go with this. So, sort of reasonable shape. That's it, as in far our as we can tell. It's we're in yeah. reasonable shape, and then the free cash comes in and we figure out whether we can, yep. we can spend. Yeah. Um, this is not doesn't include the actual cola uh, increment, which we had made a certain recommendation, mm -hmm. whether it's accepted or not. You know, we don't know, but um, that might add another. I think it was twenty or twenty-five thousand. So we're still, I think, within. Okay. So we'll start with um, yeah. Steve. Did you or, did you want to say something? No, okay. no. If you wanted to get into the article, so yeah. Great. Okay, I'd like to. Um, we will recommend um, the articles from one through ten. Of the annual town meeting. We're stepping right over the um, special. Yeah, well, the special I just gave you just for your reference because FYI. it's already been posted. Yeah. yeah. And those, because we had to change the meeting, the recommendations are going to have to be done on the floor mm -hmm. for the special. Got it. Very well. It's only transferred. So I would like a motion oh. to uh, recommend articles 1 through 10. Yeah, that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And now I would like to. Um, what would you want to do with that way and then have them respond? Go back and forth. Yeah, we'll and, okay. Forth. We'll just go back and forth. The first time, pretty much on the same every year, correct? Yeah, they're the yep. same. Yeah. Of course, nine and ten is a little yeah. different. Yeah. Probably next next year you can probably put article I will, ten. I will, just that you're adding it. Yeah. Yeah. Article ten had to get restructured, so that's why right. it's mm -hmm. on there individually. Yeah. So the text is slightly different from other years, and that's why it's outside the block, but it's the same in text. It's like the same, has the same meaning as what's been on the warrant in previous But it's years. been reworded so we're, so we're compliant with, the, with, with the, the municipal modernization act. Yeah. And the dollar numbers are the same as the previous. I don't think previous. I'm, I have to check with the highway, Cindy's on vacation, but I put it, I, I have a note to myself to check. Mike said that the 20,000 is correct for the Board of Health. Mm -hmm. So I double check with Cindy on the 20. Do you know? I think about to pull up the old warrant and see. I think previously we didn't have to specify the dollar amount, and that's one of the changes that is because of the the Okay, I, I think I thought we did say twenty last time. I don't know. I'll pull it up. So, so you're pulling up probably, last? We don't have to. We don't have to necessarily wait on you. Okay. okay, I would so, like. Uh, so they're going to make. Oh, oh they're going to make. Okay, all right. I'll make a motion that we uh, accept. 
Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, Article 11 is um, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of a dollar to plow private roads and take any action relative there too. Motion. Yeah, motion Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good All in favor, uh, motion to set Article 11, one dollar to plow the private roads. I make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Our next one here is Article 12. I don't think I'll read through the whole thing. It says to see if the town will vote to amend the Town of Brookfield zoning bylaws by adding a new section 8H, temporary moratorium on recreational marijuana establishments that would provide as follows and further to amend the zoning bylaw table of contents to add. 8, 8H, temporary moratorium on recreational marijuana establishments. I'd like a motion to recommend that. I make a motion to recommend. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Your turn. The, um, we, we've already discussed and uh, made a motion to pass over this and to continue with that moratorium. I'll make that motion. Second. Huh? Say that again. I'm not sure. So you're not supporting it? We're not supporting it. Okay. We, we feel this is good business for the town, and we, we, we need okay. to support We, we have um, Sharon Mahoney is here. I She's the chair of the I'm really not dressed for this, so. Stand here. Come on. Walks. Right behind the post, right? <laughs> I'm chair of the planning board. The reason that we want time to come up with the zoning bylaw is because if we do not, the town work to approve recreational marijuana. We don't have any bylaw regulating where these establishments can go or what areas of town will be protected, such as churches, schools, places where children play. We had a heated discussion about the medical marijuana establishments back two years ago, which was, even though it was medical marijuana, it was a very heated discussion. And the town voted to expand the buffer zones that we recommended five times the area. So the reason we're asking for a moratorium is so that we can have public hearings and town um, discussions to ask what the people want to do about regulating these establishments, rather than just throwing it open for anybody who wants to come into town, because under the existing bylaws, there's no regulatory impact. And so the moratorium would grant us time to do that. Now, we cannot ban these establishments because the town did vote in favor of the, um, of the statewide referendum. If, we, if the town wanted to ban them entirely, we would have to have another townwide vote, ballot vote. It could not be done through zoning bylaw. So what they're going to happen unless the town decides to hold another vote. But the reason for the moratorium is so that planning board can come up with reasonable restrictions on where these might go, what their hours of operation would be, what role the public safety officials might have if there's a problem, whether or not there could be delivery services, there's a whole raft of questions having to do with these establishments. It's not like opening up a five and dime, in other words. And that's the reason we need this moratorium and also the other moratorium we're asking for. And if, I, if there are any questions about this, I'd be happy to entertain them right now. So, I I don't understand why we need a moratorium for the, I'll say, the industrial slash back end of things, non-retail. It seems to me most of the concern is around retail and distribution. And so if someone in town wants to, consistent with state law, develop a processing facility, a, a growing facility, and it is secure, it has whatever is required, fences, security access, it's how is that a something that needs a moratorium. That's my That's my question. The moratorium, again, is to come up with bylaws that would impose reasonable regulations on where these things can be located, mm -hmm. what their hours of operations would be, what security measures the town would require, over and above the state rules. And since we don't know what the, what the people of Brookfield would like, the moratorium is so that we can hold open hearings and other meetings.
meetings, invite people in, get their feedback on these, because it is really a hot button issue. And that way, we can formulate a bylaw, a zoning bylaw, the same way we have for other businesses, that would impose reasonable regulations on this type of business. We have bio zoning bylaws for um, for retail, we have zoning bylaws for industry, we have uh, mass sales. Yeah. yeah. For liquor sales, we have we have zoning bylaws that regulate use in certain zones. And this would certainly be one more. It's not singling this out, but this is a hot button issue. And there are some people who feel very strongly about this in both directions. And so we want to get the town's guidance and write up an appropriate zoning bylaw. Again, unless the town votes to have another ballot vote and vote and, and completely um, vote down the possibility of having them at all, the town has to allow them. And this would just enable us to give us the time to impose reasonable regulations in the zoning bylaws as of the next annual meeting. On the medical marijuana, you said they voted to expand the, the zone by like five times, right? Yes, we originally asked for a 500 foot, foot buffer zone around certain areas, including the local churches, the schools, playgrounds like Lewis Field. And that only left two areas where medical marijuana establishments could be open, and both of those are on Route 9. A citizen that I won't name came up and said, we've got to protect the children and convince the town to expand those buffer zones by a factor of five, leaving only one area where one of those establishments could be open and effectively almost nullifying the state law which said we could not ban them. And we were lucky the Attorney General did not nullify that, the, uh, the, amended, um, the amended bylaw. Um, but as it is, that one area now has a solo farm on it. So it can't even be used for that establishment, it's, and it's the only area that would have still been zoned. So this is why I think we need to get the town involved and have time to do this so that this will not happen. We wanted somebody standing up at the annual meeting after we've had a carefully considered zoning bylaw and amended from the floor without knowing what factors went into it. And that's why we need to do this deliberatively and with enough time to go through the process, including running this by town council. There's another factor here. Marijuana is not legal under federal law. That's something else we have to take into consideration. Whether or not you agree these establishments should be in Brookfield, that is a factor we have to take into account as well. And that's going to take consulting the Attorney General, consulting maybe even state officials, and consulting town council. If we just throw this open at anybody, we will have no regulatory capacity for this, except under the existing zoning bylaws, which is to say none. If, if I open a, a store that sells copper, would, is, is that somehow um, different than a store that sells marijuana? It could be. As it is now, you cannot open a liquor store within a certain distance from a school, for example. The ones like that, across the road? I, I don't know what the regulations are. <laughs> they're grandfathered. <laughs> yeah, the ones, they're, they're grandfathered, well, the existing ones. The laws are already in place for liquor stores. There's no laws for this marijuana in our town. And, there's, and the zoning laws are set locally. Would not the existing laws regarding industrial businesses and retail establishments apply appropriately to any of these, uh, any business that wanted to establish itself in our town? To a limited extent, and the, limit, and the word limited is important, because we cannot make this up as we go along. We have to have a bylaw that's specific to this business. I, I understand, just, just like there's, there's specific regulations that apply just to liquor stores. To stores to sell alcohol Correct. around that. Correct. You're saying you're you're saying you there should there should be rules around the sale and uh, processing of marijuana. Yes. Okay. That's what we're saying. And 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 those have we have to have time to determine what those appropriate zoning bylaws are. Is there part of our uh, uh, Passover vote on this was to to instruct uh, planning to continue? your work without a moratorium. The moratorium, Why do you need a moratorium. The moratorium is to prevent a business from coming in during the process that we're going through to construct those zoning bylaws and say, well, you don't have a zoning bylaw right now. Here's my application. I'm grandfathered. A moratorium will prevent businesses from coming in while we're still debating this and still formulating it. 
That's the whole purpose of a moratorium. But on the same token, if people want to open a business like this, a moratorium gives ample time to is to go down every avenue possible to shut it down if they want to, correct? I'm not sure what you mean. Like, if you want to put in a bunch of hurdles so that it can't happen, this gives you time to do that. We're not going to take this as an arbitrary process. When planning board that makes any decision, whether or not it's zoned or whether it comes under other, we do it for the good of the town. We are not prejudicial when it comes to specific businesses. We have put in a solar farm opposite Route 9. I'm still getting flack about that decision. But there were factors. We did, that was another example. We didn't have a zoning bylaw for solar farms. So there was a certain limitation to the amount of restrictions we could put on that solar farm. We could not ban it outright. State law will not let us do that. If someone comes to us with a reasonable application for a large commercial solar farm, we have to let them put it in. But if we had had regulations in place, we could have, for example, increased the setback requirements. We could have put down specifics about how, what type of screening had to be put in. Right now, it's done on an individual basis. All a zoning bylaw would do would make it consistent from one application to another. And that way, too, people can't accuse the zoning department of the, uh, the planning board of being prejudicial to one applicant over another. The very reason to have the moratorium. And we have one chair to December to do this? No, that would be. To the law. No, it would be till the next annual meeting. Right. Now, if we were really hot on it, we could get it done for the fall. But. Yeah, I believe the uh, terms of the warrant say until the regulations are promulgated or the 2019 annual town meeting. Right, that would be the limit of the there's, moratorium. There's a sunset. Right, there is on it. And if we get it done sooner, the moratorium would be lifted. But right now we're getting inundated with, with um, applications for a whole number of things, including some uh, subdivisions that have been enacted. But now that the, the uh, economy is turning around, these developers are coming back and saying, we'd like to finish our, our permitting process. So we're being inundated with work. And that's why we need to hear. This, you know, besides the fact that this is a hot button issue, we have to be very careful how we go about this as far as getting town input and determining that we're not crossing any lines of the state and that we're not imposing an unreasonable regulation on a legal business. Okay, I, I miss, maybe I misheard you. So you're getting inundated with marijuana farms? No, 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 no. <laughs> No. no, just applications in general. Oh, no. the, 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 amount of, the amount of work going through the planning board is, is pretty heavy right now. The economy's back yeah. and everybody's coming to town. Mm -hmm. So and there was, about the economy. And then there was also a lot of like different developers that own pieces mm -hmm. of property and they, you know, when the economy was low, they didn't really do too much with them, but now they want to go forward and they want to do their developments. Business is good. Business is good. We have a motion to um, uh, pass over this uh, based upon the conversation we had last time, which is, you know, it's our, a, a, as a group, we were feeling it was our, uh, uh, part of our, uh, as a committee, is to, to reduce our tax base and in order to do so, attract uh, businesses that are you know, well run and well structured and, um, and um, correct for Brimfield, excuse me, Brookfield. Um, um, and um, that's the motion on the table. And um, so I would like to hear uh, all in favor of that motion to maintain the, uh, the vote that we had earlier. There's a motion and second. So wait, did we have a motion? Because we had a, we, we voted on this in a previous meeting. So we voted on this in a previous meeting. meeting. Is there, do you want to amend right. your is, is there a motion? Do you want to amend your vote? Do you want to pass over? Um, okay. 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 I'd like to hear a motion. Over to either support. Because what this is, this is to either, the meeting tonight was either to support the articles or not. You're right. 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 And, and, but my, my point is, I'm not sure if we can have sidebars, but I wanted to take an informal double check because we had some very strong opinions at our previous meeting, which I don't hear espoused now. So I'm sort of wondering if we've changed our minds or if we're still this. Well, you have the option that if you want to right. make a motion to revisit your initial vote, you can you could do that. And then if you get a second, then you guys can take a look at it. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, 
Steve, I, I prefer to get everyone sort of out of whatever their previous opinions were. If we can't do it in a public forum, then privately, just to see what the if what Sharon has said has made a, a difference. Okay, well, I think we can do it publicly. I think the discussion yeah. needs to be public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can do it publicly. So I'd like to make a motion to, um, I guess, reconsider our article, um, uh, or at least open it up to discussion among us to either uh, affirm it or, or to. Do we need a motion to discuss? No. Shouldn't we discuss and then just make a motion to modify our decision or move or move? Um, the, Start with a motion, have our discussion, and then agree on the motion. When I make a motion that we, that we revisit our decision as to whether we're going to support or not support uh, Article 12. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. Um, Aye. 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 All in favor? Oh, okay. Right. Beautiful. Um, uh, um, I am of the opinion of, of, I'd like to stick with our vote. I'd like to pass this. There. We pass it over. Pass it over. <clears throat> I'm also in the pass over. Jeff, Lee, Bob, Tom, Kenny. I'm, st I'm still thinking. I mean, I know I was uh, I was in favor of passing over before, but now I'm still thinking. Thank you. Well, you get to ask questions. What's it's a, it's a, it's a no, it's more it's more a gut decision because. Um, from a political standpoint, I can see it, but from a, from a financial standpoint, I can see it also. And it's also, you know, to be open and public. I mean, we, we, if we, I don't know if you can do bylaws on, on the fly, to share and say that's the one thing I was not considering when we did this. Because I mean, if someone comes in and says, hey, we're going to do it, we want to have this great plan for a marijuana facility. And there is no no bylaw in, in place. I mean, that, as if the people are working in parallel to, to make a bylaw, um, I guess it's sort of like a chicken and the egg, which is one or the other. Uh, I like to have the bylaw in place prior, but I don't want to forego new business opportunities either, given the state of the finances of the, of the town. So that's sort of. I don't think a moratorium is going to slow down any possible um, businesses that may want to come into town. The state is still trying to figure out what it's going to do. So there's an element of uncertainty at the state level as well. So then why do we need it? For the reasons I said. We need, we need to be prepared for this. We need to have, we can't, we can't improvise this type of thing. It's, it's a sensitive issue. There are people who feel very strongly, I'm sure, in town that we shouldn't even have these in town. So I think regulation is a safe middle ground. Any other opinions? Okay. Uh, all in favor of, of continuing to support our article and do the Passover. We need a motion for that? Okay, well, on. I'd like to, right, yeah. so. I, I, I move that we affirm our decision to pass over um, Article 11, 11, 12, 12 from the warrant. Second. All in favor. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 That's you. Okay, so I'm going to put down that you do not support the act. don't support the act. Yes. Correct. Okay. I put, when, when you say pass over, I just want to know that's not the. Like, I mean, you can pass. You know, you can. Yeah, it's language that it's given to us. So. Okay. Move on to Article 13. Would you like we, to? We, we can't have a 20 minute debate. No. <laughs> we can't have 20 minute debate. Good morning. And, and so, what, what my suggestion would be is, and I. I understand your position and I respect your position. At the yep. same time, the planning board needs the tools to work with. We, by passing over, you're talking about taking a tool away. So, again, I'd love to have new business as well, but uh, again, we need to give, when, when a board like the planning board gives us a recommendation, we need to think about it really hard as to what, what, how we consider their recommendations. 
So anyway, so let's move on. We'll move on. Okay. Next one is Article 13. To see if the town will vote to amend the town of Brookfield zoning bylaws by adding a new section 8.1, temporary moratorium on construction of large-scale ground-mounted solar photovoltaic energy systems that would provide as follows, and further to amend the zoning bylaw table of the contents to add section 8.1, temporary moratorium on the construction of large-scale solar photovoltaic energy systems. Motion to <coughs> Motion to recommend. Thank you. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 What is the recommendation of the attorney? We have made a recommendation, and that is to not support it. Um, for the sake of time, okay, um, we did this in an effort to walk in here prepared. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, you want to just, and you're saying you just want to go with your original votes. Um, I, I, well, we, we spent the time on it. What we didn't have was any input from, uh, Planning board or anybody else other than a sheet of paper. Okay, so, um, uh, gentlemen, you know it's up to us. Would you would do? You know, is there a motion to support the vote that we've already had on the large scale solar PV systems? I make a motion that we stick with our original recommendation, which is to pass what we passed. Great. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it looks like either way, we're, we've got strong believers in one of the things. Well, you know, we're, we're faced with a similar, I mean, we've had some additional information as far as I'm concerned. Right. That's, that's what's making me wiggle. Okay. But again, it's, it's not okay. the time of the effort if you find the minority just to, to do it. So I'll just go along with whatever you guys want. Question on the uh, on the warrant and this one it the temporary moratorium looks like it is um, it ex it doesn't I don't see the clause that it says it expires when the, section four yeah temporary moratorium but I only see it expiring on the calendar date I don't see a no, it says it says, it says it says twenty nineteen annual town meeting right but the the marijuana bylaw that we are the moratorium that we discussed had a had two triggers the first of Annual town meeting 2019, or the zoning law promulgates appropriate uh, planning board, excuse me, appropriates proper, uh, appropriate or uh, relevant regulations around it. This one doesn't have that same planning board. Once the planning board promulgates regulation, the moratorium goes away because the regulations are in place. Okay. That's that. That's my question. That's is that. Am I reading this correctly to say it lacks that when planning regulations are promulgated? Yeah, we, we did go around and, and sort of say, yeah, they, um, I mean, we know this, that, and so it's like, and so I'm, I'm uncomfortable that the moratorium is just a calendar year. It's like, if we, if, if this is passed, even if the regulations are promulgated, then the moratorium remains in effect. And to my mind, the point of the moratorium is we don't have regulations. Once we have regulations, there is no need for a moratorium, if I understand the process correctly. But we already have at least two permits for large scale, additional large scale solar facilities in town in the works. Yes, I'm. So. Now you speak <coughs> guilty. We prefer about those. Yeah. 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 So, are you speaking, Dave, as a planning board member? Yes. Okay. We, you guys said you had no information, but the planning board last week had a public hearing on the solar. What we're, what we're discussing here. Mm -hmm. Once once something is in, once we get a bylaw, the moratorium will go away automatically once we have a bylaw in place that it's voted on. So if it, we get it done in three months, four months, once the town votes it in, the moratorium is gone. Okay. Okay. But we had a public hearing last week and no one showed it. That's why they use the word temporary. Yeah. No, they just need to assume that that uh, because of, at the tail end of that it says to enact bylaws and a man consistent sound language it may just be 
presume you know it's not in the verbiage that it goes away when those are added. I mean, it's that's one way to read it, but it's not, to my mind, it's not a clear and explicit reading. Yep. And I've worked with contracts enough. If I may interject, we, we did run both of these by town council. They found no problem with the wording of either one. In fact, made suggestions for us. Um, I understand, but I think town council. Uh, never mind. I understand. Thank you. So we, we've heard from planning board that says that if the bylaw is. Uh, Drawn, approved, and everything else, then, then this article is you know, essentially the, more, the, moratorium, the moratorium is, is lifted. lifted. Thank you. So, with that additional information, do we hear support of our original uh, uh, vote here, or are we um, uh, voting against our, our original uh, position? I believe we have a motion on the floor to affirm ah. our decision Correct. to not support this. And Any further discussion? Yeah. Or a second? No second. Sorry, try that What's that? No second. But the motion's out there. Can someone yes. second it now? Yeah. yeah. Second. Yeah. All in favor of the of of uh, supporting the motion? Aye. Hmm. Okay, I uh, I'm voting against it. I'd like to. I, I'd can consider call change. for nays. Excuse me. Can you call for nays? Call for nays. Yes. Nay. 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 Okay. Uh, so we have. Do you have No. No. Three. Three. Okay. So what? So, okay. So. So Bob, you are yes or no? No. Okay. No. 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 Did Bob? Did you um, did you affirm our decision to not support? The first, first. Yeah. Do you want? Do you support first. it or not? Yeah. Okay. We, okay. I want to just be clear. Um, Should we try say it again? again? Say it again. Okay. Tommy, can you motion again? Can we? Since it, what, since since it may not have been clear. Oh, I'd like to make a motion that we cancel the motion and somebody else can make a new motion so that we can get this straight. No. Okay. <laughs> I, I, okay. The motion. I will motion that we. I motion that we affirm our decision to not support this. So, in other words, a yes vote is we're not changing our mind. A no vote is we're changing our mind. That is how from our decision last week. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you. Okay, Steve. All in favor, support yes. this. Yes. Anyone who does not support that. No. Okay, four three. So we are we have we have affirmed our position of not supporting the solars. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna move on now to yep. Article 14. See if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer borrow a sum of money to purchase air bottles and protective clothing for the fire department. And the, the amount is $15,000. And uh, it says, these items have affinitive life span and they're items that need to be replaced. Would I have a motion to support a Motion to uh, support. Second. Uh, do we want to support it for the $15,000 or do yep. Because yep. we, we see the CIP supports the article for ten thousand. Madam, Madam Chairperson, can yes. I speak to the board? Sure. Uh, the Capital Improvement Planning Committee has been working on capital projects for a year, and uh, we had sixteen capital projects that we thoroughly reviewed. Mm -hmm. uh, subsequent to submitting our capital plan in accordance with the bylaw. And, and by the way, I'm, I'm speaking on, as a person of the, of the Capital Improvement Planning Committee. I'm, I'm speaking on my, on my behalf. Uh, we submitted 16. We submitted it to the select board, to the advisory committee. Subsequent to that, approximately the cursory review, uh, 12 of those have been changed. Uh, some have been added, some have been eliminated. We haven't had the opportunity to uh, review those. And uh, if we're gonna do our role properly, we have to thoroughly review. So um, 
again, I'm speaking for myself because we haven't had a meeting, and we're going to have a meeting like two days before the town meeting. Uh, we reserve the right to change our opinions on some of these. Is that clear? And rather than talk to each one of them, because I can't speak for the committee, uh, but uh, we would uh, probably have a review of that meeting and, uh, and uh, hopefully we will have some opinions for the town meeting. And, and one of the recommendations I was going to have for this, because what happened was that, that we didn't have a, a full committee quorum for the May meeting due to some absences when mm -hmm. a lot of these changes came in at exactly the same time. Subcommittee met. The recommendations are actually from the uh, Warren article subcommittee for the last minutes that came from the Capital Improvement mm -hmm. Planning Committee, which is what Karen based yeah, her notes on. Used, yeah. okay. So my recommendation would be is that during that meeting two days prior to town meeting, we'll do up a statement from the Capital Improvement Planning Committee that's like a one-page sheet that basically indicates the level of recommendation from the full committee. Um, and if, uh, if our chair is comfortable with it for now we'll leave the recommendation the recommendations as previously said by the subcommittee for the purposes of publishing in the warrant but we'll have an addendum page if there's any changes yeah. to those recommendations what do you think we should just take them out and then they can use that page so it's not confusing uh, and just pass there, there, there were a couple even after that subcommittee meeting there were still a couple more that, that were came in. right that. so the, so the ones that that were on there just have no recommendation in the warrant book and we'll put it on the addendum so do, so, so do you think that we should that leave want, this? Do you think we should just take these out? Uh, I, I can't speak for the committee. I'm so you want to have like a page that people can we'll pick just up? just have an insert that people yeah, can Yeah, people up. can pick it up yeah. and they can enter town meeting. All right, right. that sounds good. Uh, hopefully, uh, and uh, I think Article 46 says that we will have a capital plan approved at the town meeting. Hopefully we will have that too. We had it, we thought we had it, yeah. <laughs> and we submitted it, but uh, that, that's a lot on our plate for that one meeting mm -hmm. to put together a detailed capital plan as well as approval or disapproval of all those uh, uh, articles. Yeah. Linda, do you think that, that we should, I just feel more comfortable with taking off the CIPC recommendations and letting them yeah. use that yeah. sheet. Yeah. Yeah. People are going to be yeah, so we'll confused. Do yeah. you yeah. agree? Yeah. So you just, just don't, don't do anything so on all of them? Or? Well, I'm just saying, if you're going to submit a sheet, sheet, maybe they can just go by the sheet yeah. rather than... You know, that'd be less That's confusing. what I agree. I think, yeah. I think it's less confusing. Yeah. I'm going to take, this right, take, I'm gonna take all these right off, and they're going to go by the sheet. We'll give them a handout. Okay, so all okay. the capital improvement planning committee, whether we approve or approve a different number or whatever, you're just going to eliminate all of the capital improvement Correct. planning committee? Yeah. No, I'm just going to eliminate the notes on this, yeah. but you're going to have it in the handout. Right. Just so there's not okay. two We're different. Clear. That way, exactly. no, it's not two different, two mm -hmm. different numbers. It's only the numbers that are approved. Good right idea, Karen. Yeah. Okay. We're okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. I can go. That's Next fine. year we'll be go. much more organized with this. Good. Thank you. We're doing okay. pretty well, actually. So we're actually doing pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so we've we've uh, voted to uh, yeah, we've support. Voted. The <coughs> okay. How how does the advice? Did, did you vote oh, to support? No, actually, we had the motion for the second. Oh, okay. okay. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna say no, predicated on the it was originally at ten thousand. Uh, so uh, okay. okay. So two to one, you're supporting two it. To okay. One. Uh, we had voted for we followed uh, the recommendation from the capital improvement plan. We voted for a ten thousand dollar line there. Do we need to uh, go through the whole thing again as far as yeah. motion or motion? No, if you've already done it, I don't feel you have to do it yeah. again. Okay, great. Right. Article 15, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate transfer borrowers some money to purchase or make improvements to fire vehicles. And the amount will be 650000 should be the minimum target. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, then I, I, I would also suggest a pass over. I mm -hmm. would too. Pass over this one. Okay. May I ask a question? Um, I see everything's written in red here, mm -hmm. and, and I'm 
some of them, you know, for instance, you just passed over this. Yeah, okay, what I wrote when I, when I sent this out to you originally, I, I wrote it in big capitals. Just the, the red is just from my notes, just, at, just because I just put them all piece of wood and then I change them. So please don't go by the red notes. Just, just, That's just my, yeah. That was a reminder that she had to go fix it. Here. It's a remind. It's a, just a reminder yeah. that I have to plug in yeah. the yeas and the nays. What, what we, what Steve just submitted down on this, this little sheet. Is that what you're calling? Oh no, we're talking about you know the the uh, annual town meeting warrant right here that I gave you. The red, the right, red I'm notation. Right, talking about the you get our recommendation in the six fifty. We would not be in support of that. So we're. Oh, I'm doing it well, right now. I'm just doing it right now. Just going along. I'll change them tonight. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. do you agree that you're I, passing over this? Or? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'd like to make a motion that we stick with our original vote of passing over the phone call. Yep. All in favor, uh, yes. Yeah. I, I agree that we stick with it. I would recommend that if we uh, don't have anything, if we don't need to change our recommendation, we don't need to make any kind of motion. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, that's right. If you don't, you don't need to have a motion. Right. Well, that, that was my question. Yeah. So you're going off of this sheet then as right. far as... Okay. Right. Yeah. Unless you all want to revisit unless we, something. Unless we want to change. No, no, no. I'm just no. trying to be clear that we get the right information to do. We'll just make it go <laughs> smoother. We'll think we got to move around. Okay. So that's right. Yeah, you send your motion, Tony. Uh, Article 16, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate transfer or borrow sum of money to purchase thermal images for the fire department. Motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You guys in favor? We we opposed it. Okay. All right. Move on to seventeen to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer, borrow a sum of money for fire station repairs. Motion to approve. Second. Support. Um. Now, one thing that he is, Peter is going to get some money if this is the one for the roof, which I think it is. Uh, he's going to get yeah. half of it. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's getting so he um, some money, but uh, it's still on the warrant. Of course, we'll see what happens. Does because he still need that? It is earmarked in the state budget, though. So I don't know. Let's we'll wait and see. You never so know the, what's going to happen. So the challenge there is that not all the earmarks survive the process. Right, right. So what we may want to do is if we left it on at the full amount with the understanding that if we get the, mm -hmm. the money from the state that we'll we could even move it at the special in the fall we could actually Good. just pull change it the number okay. change the number so okay all in favor aye aye, aye. advisory advisory I see that we uh, funded that at ten thousand dollars I remember mm -hmm. I, I think that changed no, but that was the roof we're talking about now. that was the 24 right that was at 12. This is our yeah, 17. The fire is two above the station. Right? Is it? Okay, excuse me. Yes, so we, we've we already proved this. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So were you going to support this? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. yep, we remain. Okay, yep. Article 18, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow sum of money to purchase a machine to launder firefighters protective clothing or take any action. And uh, I'd like a motion. I'll go over the advisor, uh, the uh, passing over. I, I do too. I'll second that. So we'll, um, all in favor of passing over this article? Aye. 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 The advisory passed over as well. Next. Okay. 19. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money to fund the road construction and reconstruction account. I would like a motion to support this. Motion to support at the thirty-five thousand. At the thirty-five. You want to support it? I'll the second 35? the discussion. Okay. Uh, the only reason why um, I was, was interested in supporting it at forty-six is that. Uh, they have they have specific project that exceeds the standard mm -hmm. work that the thirty five thousand supports. Okay. okay. Well, then I agree so with usually that. usually this is like the potholes and, and the covering the, oh, the gaps yeah. from, from chapter ninety or money we have to put up front for to cover chapter ninety projects. 
but the 11,000 has a specific earmark project that, that is uh, above and beyond what they usually use for this. So we'll support it then for the first time. Well, 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 I second it for discussion, so I'd like to propose an amendment to the motion that we supported at 46. We were waiting to get more information. And that you have a second vote at 46. All in favor? Aye. So we're supporting at 46. It should have been. Okay. Because we when we looked at this, we saw those 35,000 uh, for river construction, and that the increase of 11,000, I don't think was in the one that we saw, so we thought it was an additional 46,000. Uh, so that's why we waited to vote on this, because there was confusion as to whether it was an extra 11,000 or an extra 46,000. We, we asked for additional and information. We, yeah, so now we have that additional information. I'd like to make a motion that uh, we support Article 19. Second. It, it is just for the 11. Just the 11. Yes, yes. All right. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. Okay, Article 20. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer of borrow sum of money to the center line painting that's on. Motion to support. Second. I'll pull that article. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Advisory board? We have, have supported it. We support it. Did you get any indication as to where they intended to paint lines this year? This uh, year? Have you taken a look around on the roads? Yeah. They started. <laughs> they started already? They already yeah. did it. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, Mill Street was already painted, and I drive 148 up to the school and back, and that's a lot of my traveling down. So I'm well treated by the recent construction on 148. Article 21. This still won't do, but we could get it. We could, we could request it. Article 21. See if the town will vote to raise appropriate transfer or borrow some money to purchase a generator for the highway department. Motion to support. I'll second for discussion. Um, I'd like to find out if there are still any if there's still any activity on, on uh, leveraging the uh, used equipment that they have, or if that's if that's something we need to dispose of. The only thing left on the one generator that we have running is instructing them exactly how to start it. Okay. So it, it's usable, it's uh, three phase four wires so it plugs right into the building. We couldn't ask for anything better as far as that goes. Okay. The, other, the only other decision that they'd have to make is whether they're going to put it on a uh, pad down there or put it on a trailer. Got it. I like the idea of a pad. I like the idea of a pad too, <coughs> frankly. Because I, I think that building is one building that should have a, uh, a generator in it. Yes. It is used as an emergency center. Yes, they should have one. <coughs> so, um, all in favor, are you done? Or? I, I'm done. All in favor to support this article? Aye. Aye. Two of us support and one does. The advisory, it, 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 advisory had uh, voted to pass over, to not support it. Okay. The next one is 22. Excuse me, Linda? Yes. Uh, I'd like to open that back up for discussion, just based on something that I heard today. Can we do that? Yes, absolutely. I, I heard something, um, I think, one thing that I didn't have in my head when we made our, had our discussion and voted was that the highway barn is an emergency center. Did I get more information on that? So it's a secondary command center for, and it's actually part of the Brookfield Emergency Management Plan mm -hmm. uh, that in the event of tornado, tornado hits this massive, massive fire, mm -hmm. um, terrorist attack, mm -hmm. what have you, that one of the alternate locations for emergency operations is the highway bar. Okay. Do we not have any emergency generation capacity here now? Or we, what currently, we, we, we currently have a generator, but the generator that the generator that they had that was active could not run the compressors. So so some of the so any of their equipment maintenance capability was was not working when they were on power generation. Okay. There's the, a there's a gener there's some um, uh, 
army surplus generators that they have at least been working with them in order to get them running and then get them hooked up to the building. It might need a couple thousand dollars to hook it up to the building permanently. I don't know because if you're going to do it legally. That, that mm -hmm. well, he spoke of getting uh, people from uh, Tantasqua to hook it up. To do it. Okay. So would that? So the, it looks like the thirty-nine thousand may not be fully spent if some of those plans can come through. Correct. Okay. So if if, it, if we left it on there and we voted the money, but they but we allowed that they could use the money for either purchase or just installation of existing equipment, then they could spend what they needed to in order to connect up the generator that they've got, mm -hmm. and then the balance would be remaining. And they've already brought it down because uh, they have found some acceptable generators even if they were going to go with like an auto on new generator mm -hmm. that is less than the 65 they were originally expecting in their capital plan. Right, then that's why, that's why it's 39. That's why it's 39. Right. And if the stars align, it could be less. It could be a lot less. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I move that we, re uh, well, I would like to move that we revisit this decision in the light of the highway bond being an emergency center and that the generators needed for them to operate their equipment, uh, the compressors, and have that site at normal operation. Second? Yep. We got a second. It's Discussion. Anyone who feels differently, we, uh, I believe you did this last Thursday night? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, it was a long time. So the, the current generator that they have down there, not the one that's getting worked on, it doesn't run the compressor. It's, it's in, it doesn't provide enough power to operate the, build, the compressors in the building for them to maintain their stuff. And given its main status as an emergency operations center, which I, I don't recall considering in our decision, I think it's worthy of consideration. Right, so aside from that, that was because the, we, the, the tools that were needed to be used in the compressor were not was not an overload to how the compressor was working, was that it? Yeah, that's all it says. During power outages, generator is not large enough to open the garage door and operate many power tools. Yeah, I think that we were talking about that they already have a generator and that the, um, they did. Do we have Jerry may speak? <clears throat> if it's brief. It will be brief. Why do we need a compressor to run in? Or any or any <coughs> of the power tools. So it's depending on the situation you there there would be times where you would want to have the capability for you know if for example even a tire change during a power an otherwise power outage, you would want the air compressor from the standpoint of, of being able to do the tire change on site. There's a number of things that could, if, if it's an emergency event that's happening, say during the winter time, and there's there's any type of vehicle uh, maintenance, whether it's for that or for fire or for whomever, places like Woodard's or or places in other portions of Massachusetts also might not have power. We don't have power. Mm -hmm. Do you get a time machine on the island? No, but you would use it if you would actually. Most people that change a tire, if they have access to a, 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 a compressor so that you can actually get the tires on and off fairly quickly. Yeah, if, if they don't have a time machine, why do we need a compressor to change a tire at the highway? Because you have, use air off. wrenches in order to get the tires off. Off and back on. And back on. An awful lot of the jacks that they use to jack up the equipment yeah. are air powered. Yeah. There's a lot of good reasons to be able to have the compressors down there. Okay, 22, can we move on? Um, well, they're, oh, they're yeah, still, they're still. So, um, can, we, can we recommend to support it at a reduced amount with the thought being that if it's um, going to be come through, at, a, uh, come through at, the, at the lower cost with the, uh, I mean, with the authorizer that get a lesser amount, like I don't, I don't have a number in mind, but if they get the, if Lee's plan works out, if that was, or do we want to? Just recommend that the full be done. Uh, I'm new to the process, so I'm yep. asking questions. I, I know I look silly, but I look, I look smarter than you. No, I, I, back I, on here. I don't think anyone's looking silly. Um, um, I would, um, so the, the motion would be um, uh, 
would we retract our thirty our our, our lack of support for this and support it at thirty nine thousand dollars? I think he's recommending more probably. Well, I'm asking if we can consider recommending a lesser amount and say give us an amount. It's like I. I don't first of all I don't feel the same by the other number and then vote a new number. It's like number. I will if he wants safe math for a significant electrical work. If it, if it was significant electrical work, it's probably in the area of twelve thousand. If it's minor electrical work, you're looking between fifteen hundred and probably thirty five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So if if you wanted a budget for major electrical work but less than a generator, you'd probably be in about the twelve range. Yeah, electrician you might and then the question becomes. It depends. Yeah. And then with, with the article, with the article, if the article were, if the town passed the article at thirty nine thousand dollars, and we came up with a cheaper way to do it, mm -hmm. um, would the remaining money be effectively unspendable and roll over into free cash the next year? So um, if we knew soon enough then we can move it over in either the special town meeting in the fall or the special town meeting prior to the next annual town meeting. So one of the uses of the special town meeting prior to the annual is that say we voted it at 39000 mm -hmm. we spent $2,000 doing electrical work and maybe another $6,000 to do a, or $10,000 to do a proper pad to, to mount, it, mount it properly, maybe have it attached to fuel or what have you, whatever makes it the, the most efficient to operate in an emergency mm -hmm. situation. Say we spend fifteen thousand dollars on everything. Mm -hmm. We could at either special town meeting move that money back out of that account and and not have it necessarily roll into free cash. Okay. Um, in fact, because it's a warrant article, it would sit there until we vote it somewhere. Okay. So it, it doesn't actually it's roll into free cash. It's actually encumbered. Not a now that I'm running through it in my head. Once you voted on the on the town meeting floor for a warrant article for this specific purpose, unless we transfer it at town meeting, there's some room, I think, for the municipal transfer to where it's a warrant article, it's encumbered for that purpose, so I don't think we can even touch it then. And once the purpose is completed, anything left over is unspendable. It's unspendable until we vote it out of there. Okay, that's fine. I'm just from a process and structure standpoint, I my my worry is always it's like and I this doesn't reflect poorly on, on her Chafee, but it's like, I'm always just like, is is there a temptation or ability for someone if they got it in their head to spend the, use it as a, to fund other projects? Right, it's yeah, like, no, he, he can't, he, okay. he, it doesn't turn oh, okay. into a slush fund that he can have access at his will or anything like that, it's specifically to that. All right, and, that's, well, and, that, and that helps me understand for future situations when we're talking about other people in town, it's just the question comes up in the context of this movie for JP because it's the first one to come up. I don't want to. He seems like a really nice guy and he seems to do a lot for the town. So, right. so no, just what, one other question: What what has been done in the past? This obviously has been a need for a while, or is this a new need that's arisen? This is what I. This is a need that's been there that hasn't been truly addressed. So we're trying to address an outstanding, an outstanding, long-standing need. Yep. I move that we um, vote to support Article uh, 21. 21. Thank you. My, my, I'm off by one on my page. So that I, that the advisor would vote to support Article 21. Don't we have to rescind the other one then? I think, so I think this vote overrides the previous. Since we're the same, we don't have to, the vote effectively overrides Yeah, it. I agree with you. Go ahead. Uh, second. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any no's? Nay. Nay. How many? Two. Two, three. Three. Okay. 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 Four. okay, so three no. Four yes. Okay. Thank you for indulging me. So we are supporting this for the full amount, 39. Thank you. Article 22. See if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from the general fund to the road reconstruction account. And this money was a reimbursement from the Divisional of Eco Ecological Restoration for the surveying of the Rice Connor Road culvert. Motion to support. Second. Aye. 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 Aye.
Shouldn't this be on the special before the time meeting? Oh, this is we got we got money from the state to reimburse yes. us, and now we need to put the money into this account yes. because that's where we spent the money that they're reimbursing us for. Essentially, it, it essentially yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Did we vote on this one? We no, did not. We, apparently not. It's because we because we like, that clarification. Like to entertain a motion to uh, fund this at twenty nine. I move that we support Article twenty two. Second. Favor. Aye. 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 Aye.